All right, so about that uber sexual assault story that seems to be picking up steam and everywhere, uh, all major news organizations, it's moving up to more of the top news slot. So I figured I'd do a story on it and tell you, everybody out there, hold your horses a little bit. Don't sensationalize this. Don't fly off the handle. Hold on. And just hear me out. So, let's get in this article. It's from CBS, but you can find it on all the major news networks now. Uber received 3,045 reports of sexual assault during U.S. rides in 2018. The company revealed in a wide-reaching safety report. The report comes as the ride-sharing company faces increased scrutiny over safety of riders and drivers who use the app. The safety report released Thursday detailed reported incidences of sexual assault, fatal physical assault, and motor vehicle fatalities during Uber rides over the past two years. Uber insisted the 84-page report that during that time that there was an average of 3.1 million trips that occurred, and out of those, 99.9% ended safely. In 2018, there are 235 report, reported incidents of rape, up from 229 the previous year, uh, instances of non-consensual touching of a sexual body part and non-consensual kissing of a, a non-sexual body part, also increased from 2017 to 2018. Instances of attempted, attempted rape decreased from 307 reports in 2017 to 280 in 2018. The reason I want to discuss this is this. They are very careful in their wording of this. It's reports of sexual assault. Well, I know a few Uber drivers, and let me tell you something. People do weird stuff, and we have videos. There's plenty of videos you can see online about people accusing an Uber driver of sexual assault because they were either drunk, they tried to get the free ride, uh, you know, the Uber driver pulls up and they try to say that they're the passenger. They call rape in. Well, that's included in this report. So how, how? How are we supposed to get the real numbers? It's skewed. It's There's not enough context. There's not enough information. And people are taking this and running with it and, and really making a mountain out of a molehill. We don't have enough context yet. How many of those cases were uh, vindictive? How many of those cases were proven true? How many were proven false? Need more information. But I see people flying off the handle. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy how people have that... You remember that graph, that viral graph from a while back? 100 rape cases. Uh, something like uh, out of that... There are very few convictions. Most people uh, were never charged with anything. And then uh, uh, a few were, were, were found to be fake lies. It didn't happen. And people ran with that saying, well, out of 100 cases, there's only like uh, 25 convictions. That's what it was, 15 and 25. 25 convictions. Well, what the heck? How come we don't have more? Well, maybe there aren't more. Why do people call for more convictions if there aren't any more convictions to be had? What are we supposed to do? Throw innocent people in jail just to satisfy a conviction rate? I don't want to go down that road. It used to be that better ten guilty men go free than one innocent man go to jail. Hold on a second here. It used to be that it's it, it's better that ten guilty men go free than one innocent man goes to jail, but those values seem to be disappearing which is a little scary i see this story and i see a lack of information i see a lack of context out of those 3045 how many were proven true how many were proven true how many of them are just gray numbers that neither side can use see here's what i'm getting at here's how that rate statistic should read and don't kill the messenger i'm only telling you the truth out of every 100 rape cases, you have 100 rape accusations, put it that way. Out of every 100 rape accusations, 25 are proven to be true. 
15 are proven to be false. All those in the middle, those ones that don't have innocence or guilt, they were either thrown out of court, uh, prosecutor decided not to prosecute for whatever reason, but whatever reason, there's no disposition. They're not found innocent or they're not found guilty. They can't be counted. They cannot be counted. They can't be counted. I don't know. It just makes common sense to me. If we want programs to go to the proper places and we want taxpayer money, our money that we pay in taxes to go to the proper places, we have to have the proper information. We can't take titles and headlines like this and run with it and call it truth and forget that we need facts. What's going to happen because of this, this report? I don't know. But it sure is picking up steam. Out of 3,045, well, how many are proven true? How many are proven false? How many are someone just drunk and saying stupid crap and got jilted on a ride? I mean, you can see them, countless videos online where the driver's recording there and it's obvious recorded evidence that nothing is happening. Nothing is going on. The driver's not doing anything wrong and the the passenger, mostly women, are saying, well, I'm, I'm going to call rape and a bunch of them do. One, one woman had a guy parked in the middle of the road. She got out of the car and she's crying rape. Rape, this guy just raped me. But he has the whole thing on camera. He didn't do anything. How many of those are these? We don't have enough information. So take your feelings and I understand. Look, trust me, I've been there. I'm, I'm a survivor. But put your feelings aside because fact, fact has to reign in things like this. So don't just read the headline. Look into it and, hey, you guys are worth having proper information. You guys are worth having the right things you need to make the right decisions. You're worth it. You are valuable people. Educate yourselves. Look at this story. Look at dissenting opinions on it. Soak it up. What makes sense to you makes sense to you. What doesn't doesn't. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Voice it. Let me know you don't agree with me and tell me why you don't agree with me. That's all I got on this one. You guys have a good one. I love you guys. You guys are so worthwhile. You guys are so awesome. You know that? You guys are, are amazing. You guys have take care and I will see you on the next one. I got one coming up here in, in a little bit.